Many educators are using a tool called Live Worksheets that offer interactive worksheets that they can use to assign as assignments or just practice activities on Google Classroom. Now, the difficulty here with this is having their students submit these assignments. This can be solved um, by clicking the three dots in the top right hand corner and then come down to print. I was going to bring up a print dialog box that will allow the students to change the settings surrounding how they would want this um, document to appear. The goal here is to convert the website that has the interactive, the completed interactive worksheet um, to a PDF and then um, submit that to the Google on the Google Classroom. Now you can notice here that my PDF have three pages and this is not necessarily what I would want. The first and last page will be relevant um, for in, my, in this example. So I can just remove them by um, coming over here to pages then clicking the down arrow and then click custom. The enter number two and only the second page would appear. Now above here where it says destination, you would want that you select an option where it allows you to save or to print to a PDF. Now you may not have these options here, but once you see an option where it says PDF, then that's the option for you. Now the third option here where it says save to Google Drive would allow you to save this document as a PDF on your Google Drive instead of on your local computer. You may want that. But for this example, I'm going to save it on my desktop. So I'll click here, save as PDF. Now, you may have also noticed here that some of my answers are missing. Now, on um, this dialog box, you would need to select the options here that says headers and footers and background graphics. So just let me select those. Um, I'd like to let you know that not all worksheets have this issue. For this example, I wanted to demonstrate that just in case you run into this jump. So I can see all of my answers here now and my worksheet is ready to be printed. So I'm just going to click save. And it pulled the name of the worksheet from the website. So I can leave it just as it is and then click save. I've already saved this um, before. So it would ask me to replace it. Okay, great. So my worksheet has been saved. I can just navigate to where this file was stored on my desktop and submit it on my Google Classroom.